This is Idaho News 6. If you pass a herd of elk or deer and see that a few of them have colors on like a dog, no people are not trying to take them for walks, Idaho. Fishing Game is using the GPS colors to help depredation and track deer and elk populations. Our outdoor reporter Lindsay Amundsen has more on how this is helping our wildlife in the state. It allows us to determine what management actions are, are necessary to, to manage that population effectively. The collars also have mortality sensors. We'll actually get an email when that mortality sensor is tripped. Biologist goes out and, you know, within 24 hours of getting that signal and in many cases can determine why that animal died, what killed it. Which has shown throughout the years that predation has changed. Wolves used to be a big problem for elk populations, but now... Not everywhere, but in some places we've seen that shift now uh, where predation is, is less of an overall effect or factor in the population. Uh, so, we're, we're, you know, we're growing elk, but what predation we are seeing, the, the majority of of it is mountain lion, not wolf. The collars also help with depredation. We started putting some collars on in some of these chronic depredation areas, trying to get a better idea of where those elk are at during the hunting season so we can have hunters provide that opportunity and maybe steer some people in that direction to try and try and deal with something that becomes a problem at some point in the year. And they can track them in real time. You know, we contact the landowner. We're like, okay, we're bringing, you know, fencing material or paneling or whatever because the elk have been are moving your direction. We expect them to be there. But their most important use is to make sure we have healthy and thriving populations of deer and elk. Compared to the winter of 2016 and 17. Every fawn and every calf that we had a collar on, southern Idaho, not every single one, but most of them died. And that's that's not a surprise. And then, you know, the, the opposite of that was this past winter where we had above average fawn and calf survival. That fawn survival rate was 62%, the highest it's been in a while. And he says so far this year's data is showing it to be similar, which will mean plenty of opportunities for hunters. Lindsay Amundsen, Idaho News 6.